Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how to show inventory availability on your Shopify site. So you may have seen in a previous video, we talked about how Acumatica now allows you to break up inventory availability by location, warehouse location. And we talked about how you can leverage that in the point of sale module. So if we take a look over on the commerce tab and we look at Shopify stores, we talked about how under inventory settings, you now can map your Acumatica warehouse over to the Shopify location. And if we go back to Shopify and we click on settings, this is the admin panel for Shopify. We click on settings and we go to locations. You can see I have locations set up here. So this allows us to map our warehouse to the location that a shopper would check out from. Now in Shopify, you can do a lot of things. You can create scripts that can say, if this customer is in a certain location, I want them to check out of a certain store. And as I mentioned before, you can also leverage this with point of sale. If I'm at a specific point of sale store, I want to know what kind of stock I have on hand in that particular store. And Acumatica's Commerce Edition will see to all of that through its mapping and ability to push out the availability. So, but when we look at the store, go to our online store here, and we'll view the store, and we take a look at a catalog, and let's say we want to filter by computers and open up the Acer laptop computer. Nowhere on this product page do you see the item's availability. So let's say we wanted to show that. The first thing we would do is go back to the admin panel and we'd go into actions under the theme, actions, and edit the code. And what this shows is all of your files, the files that make up your e-commerce store for this particular template. Now you may notice I'm working with the debut template. That's the out of the box template. So your instructions to change this may vary depending upon the theme you're using. But the page we were looking at was a product page. And that breaks into two different sections. So the first one is the product.liquid page. And what you see here is the contents of this are actually found or broken down in the sections product template liquid. So you could make some changes here and we can add this code, I'm going to show you in a second, that can show the inventory on hand, but essentially it'll show up on the bottom of the page. So if you wanted to move it up here or put it tight to the description, you wouldn't be able to do that. If we go back and we go down to sections and we go to product template, this has all of the details. And if you're not used to editing this, it may take some time for your eyes to get acclimated. But as you start to look down, you can see some of the information and some of the references to that product page. We go back, you can see here's the pricing, the description, here's your add to cart buttons and your extended description, and here's your social tags. If I go back and we scroll around, you can see some of those things there. For example, here's the product title. If we scroll down further, you can see the social sharing buttons. So we're starting to find out where maybe we want to place our inventory on hand. I'd like to place it right below the buy button. So if we go down, we can see the buy it now button. And right here is our product description. So we're going to add our inventory calculation right above that. Now, I did a little search to find out if you Google search how to add inventory on hand or inventory availability to a Shopify page, you're going to find the code you need. And I found it right here. So this is a quick tutorial on how to do it. Now, keep in mind that the way you put your inventory on the page depends on whether you have variants or not. So variants are like item matrix. So if you have, for example, t-shirts with different colors and different sizes, then you're gonna wanna extend down and look for additional code 
and that code goes below this callback. And this callback basically says, anytime I change my variance, I want you to update something. I want you to run some other code. And that is to say that when we change those options, we need to update, for example, the inventory on hand, the inventory on hand for those different options together. So a blue shirt of size medium, I only have three in stock, but a large, maybe I have eight in stock. So the system needs to fire this function and then run the code below it in order to determine what that availability is. You can see there are other options here. You could just say the product is sold out, product is available. There's different things that you can do here. So quite a bit of flexibility. But back to this, this is the standard for a single variant item. So I'll put that in the clipboard and I'll go back to our code and I'm gonna put that right here. And I'll clean it up a little bit. Now the way it looks after I save it, so we'll save it here and preview. We'll look for a product item. And now you can see it shows we have currently 368 in stock, right above the description, right near the buy it now button. Now again, you could do other things here. You could disable this button if you don't want customers to purchase it because it's out of stock. Or maybe you change the button to say pre-order, for example. The other thing you could do here is, notice I don't have a class. The class can help you with the formatting. So if I wanted to, I can add this class right here, right before the ID, and that would change the way it's formatted. So that's it. That's a quick way of adding your availability to your product pages in Shopify. If you have any questions about this, or anything else, Acumatica or Shopify related, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel and have a great day.